Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series, and I think maybe there's been an update. My game started different. This is certainly different. This is the whistle for the pets. Um, let's check the changelog. I'll be honest, I don't remember when I recorded that, so I don't know which one of these are new. I know we've read this one, because I remember the setup for moss growing on certain tree jump stumps. Uh, further UI switch for the new system. We've got the skills screen, mailbox, uh, intro choice, gamepad, radial, monument stone, pet whistle, notice board, overhead text, and more on-screen messages. Uh, water and lighting has been visually enhanced with shaders for low spec PCs. There's a setting in the options to adjust the quality of these effects. Uh, bubble help, currently on the F3 key which pauses the game and gives some context-sensitive help for a variety of on-screen objects and certain NPCs. Can toggle to view the descriptions of goddess effects on the result screen after offering. The fix where mosses would not grow out of level. Uh, throwing minigame has ended up leaving the level and the NPC now returns if you do go back the same day. Uh, elderberry bushes preset in ever er, present present preset in evergreen salad days blessing works with using the sickle fixed cases where melee and range tutorials could not be reactivated as tasks and stuck because they were already completed correct blacksmith prices for when selling from the shelf uh, from balance data and fixed item rating text and conditions where it was mismatched also if it sounds more accurate than normal, I've had plastic out on the floor under uh, so like the mural we're working on and under my shelves because they're not done yet. Busy. Um, but I wanted to like reuse them, but the cat has been playing with them so much they're probably just full of so many holes that I finally tossed it and I'll just use something, use new stuff uh, when we get back to painting. But I, I realized it made it a check you were in here, so <laughs> apologies. All right, we have a fix for starting a new game after going to load a save. Fix for chat boxes having the D-pad option accessible, leading to not get the fishing rod. Fix to make fishing rods available after the first season of the game if it wasn't acquired. Uh, fix to prevent crash when selling certain items to the Fae from the blacksmith with a certain perk. <laughs> Again, bugs are just so finicky. Fix for crash loading into Briar with a follower. So those are all good. They've also had like some sound effects that I've been noticing. Everything looking so official. Um, I did mention that it's been a while since I recorded. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I did write down in my book. So I do know I wrote birthday Druida day Oop. Uh, and earn money. So I guess that's what we're doing today. I almost left without an offering. How could I? Um, I guess it's a blueberry for Mr. Bot. Ooh, is it getting late? Okay, uh, so we should do the birthday and all of that. It's either getting late or it's getting stormy. Wow, look at the water. All right, let's go. Yeah, the water looks really cool. All right, uh, the statue's up here. Yeah, I think it's getting late, no one's here. Make an offering. She's the most picky of the goddesses. Like, I don't have a whole lot, of, like she wants rarer stuff, it seems. Is that a two star? Ooh, I have no one star <laughs> cuckoo -doos. All right, uh, let's do that then. All right, so I think I've got everything. We've got very berry. What was the button to check? Oh. Got a statue. Cool. Uh, confirm. Six out of six. So we got Fairy Berry and the Earthly Worm. Not sure how we toggle the info. Unless it's this? No. So yeah, I don't know how to tell what we've got. Maybe under the statuses. No, I can't see how to do that. Okay, and then whose birthday was it? K calendar? No. Teresa. Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and travel. I think she's in west. 
Don't forget to worship. Thank you. I'll just work, talk to each of the Teresas. Uh, gift. Ooh, what is that? I don't know. Oh, blueberry. Bye. Hello. And we... Oh, I should probably have, uh... Gossiped. Oh, Herbert's birthday. Oh, that means tomorrow, actually. Let's gift her a two-star apple. You remembered my birthday. Do you have any secrets? I heard that Jed really doesn't like rainbow mushrooms. Thanks. I wonder if we can, uh, ta calendar tasks. Can we create a, a custom one yet? Um, unpin it either way. Pretty sure we already did that. I mean, I'll do it again, but maybe it's early in the day. Yeah, it must be earlier than I thought. So it must be 11? I suppose no one was at the festival grounds then. Maybe they're not here on Druida Day anymore? It is Druida Day, right? <laughs> yeah, but feel free to join in the festivities. But there's no one here today. So, don't know. Red tomato. Want to get much better deals? Add tomato to your meals. Ooh, neat. Oh, there's a fish. Look at our new beautiful water. Some salmon. I need to see what we need to do for twig so that I can do the, um, like it hooks stuff as you go past it. Nice fishing much easier. Oh, they're here. Everyone was just real slow today. <laughs> Maybe I'll try running the lemonade stand. I'm surprised we have so few pond lurker. Uh, how long did I choose? Maybe an hour? Eh, that works. That's a silly price. Ah, so five works. Six was too much. But they'll bargain for six. <laughs> Ooh. I've got four pond lurkers left. I'm not sure that anyone else will show up. Mostly it seems that people show up at the start of the hour. All right, maybe 28 brass. Let's maybe for two hours and so. Well, do people buy gassy apples? Because boy, do I have a lot of those. Oh no, they're just taking it. They're bargaining. I wish there was a way to adjust prices without losing the payment for the hour. Try five then. There we go. Two more coin each. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I think she won though. Is that really two hours? That was crazy. Unless it defaults to two if you back out, even though you previously had set it for for the two hours. We gotta earn enough money to open our own shop. Oh, I keep cutting it so close. <laughs> All right, we're up to 200 uh, coin. I don't know how much we'll need. Um, to buy a shop it certainly depends on where we want to purchase. As much as I would really like to be over in Mellowfield, certainly can't afford it. Yeah, up in Mellowbrook. I haven't looked either of those directions. Hello. Introduce. Greetings, I am Sprouts, Rake's friend. He runs the goods store and is well known around Quill. I just keep the house tidy. You need anything? Talk to him. Uh, he's the man with the plan. As usual, we must gift an apple. Ooh, how'd you know I like such things? I didn't. Oh, gossip. Uh, Rake's birthday. Any 
recipes in here? No. Have we activated this board? Oh, this looks so nice. I like it. you can see who uh, you'd be helping out. That looks good. Ooh, note. Rose of romance blooms bright all year round, both day and night. Wow, roses are always available. But I guess when they're important to like romances and stuff, it would suck if they were only available sometimes. <laughs> Ginger is a curious thing. Don't mind the cold and hates the spring. Huh, good. I just love this catnip. Can we have some? No. It used to like pop up with a like a warning, but it doesn't anymore. Did I see a note? I did. It's starting to rain. Only when Quill freezes does lettuce hide to avoid the sneezes. We're about to hit that. It's about to be winter. It's very much winter here. It's like yesterday the forecast was 11 inches of snow. They've backed off on that a little bit, but we did get three inches last night, which quite a bit of snow all at once. Oh, no, no, go back, go back. There was a thing in there. There was a thing. A recipe. Quite a sharp taste. Ginger, pear, and... Is that nettle? I don't know why I keep hitting tab for everything. That nettle. Where is nettle? Ah, yes. Nettle. Anything else before I walk out? Nope. So this must be where the lawns live and another family who I can't remember which one. Discovered date, lo date location, the Lonely Oak. Monument stone. So this is, yep, the lawns. I like the sounds and looks. It's a good thistle here. Yep. Ooh, three star. It was a good thistle. Date location, the old windmill. I was going to say we don't need to go in that what we know about windmills, but they can have yep, notes and books. Vale folk don't much like legumes, but do like how the cabbage blooms. The people of Quill are a diverse bunch. Each haven has its own quirks and traditions. Uh, fashion. Poppy Hill have huge heads and are tall. Villagers over in Mellowbrook are short and very um, hobbity. The, grip, the rich tapestry of life and quill is sewn by our beloved seamstresses in the, this, their city of Opal, so the goddesses. I do sometimes wonder where they get their wool, though. Um, probably magic sheep. Got a thistle growing in your garden. I helped and took care of it. Uh, dating location, the dumping ground. Yeah, that's exactly where I'd want to be. Oh, a note. The radish does not like the sun's face, so in other seasons, take their place. Oh, maybe we'll be growing that in the winter. Oh, activate. Probably use that to get home. Uh, willow end. Pretty. Except for that part. Wouldn't want that uh, looking at us while you were on a date. Quite unnerving that. Note. Carrots are very hardy all year round. They like to party? <laughs> winter. Oh my god, it's winter just now. Dumped snow. This rain is now snow. Which is, you know, it happens. <laughs> These guys are going to be asleep, but I might just uh, take this note real quick. The bluefish is a curious thing. You never see them during spring. Ooh. Don't mind me, just the reverse Santa taking things. Hello, weenies. Pumpkin pie. Naming your dog. Seems a lot longer than I remember. Ah, uh, these are the other books that you can find. Okay. Ah, uh, greetings flower buds. So as a kid, they were left in the garden, choked on some seeds. A fae saved them. Fae promised to teach me better ways, and secretly over time, I learned my skills. Visited all of the fae realms, studied their plants, managed to grow them myself. The fair, the fae appeared once more and suggested I visit the mirror at the door to Opal. I was judged by the goddesses and blessed as a master. I never saw the fae again. 
but I do still dream those eyes and still hear the rhymes. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, there's this fancy. It's got stairs and it's so clean. In the depths of Midwood, they lurk in the shadows. Who are they? Why, the shadows themselves. Tales tell of innocent patches of darkness rising into human form. They are said to be gassy, smoky beings. There's their origin. Some say they are the spirits of people who lost their way. Some say they are children's nightmares, bottled up by the fae and released into the wild like butterflies. They say the best defense is attack, but in this case, the experts agree that a... Uh... Luminium. Luminium. <laughs> Weapons are the most effective. Ooh. I think this is the last map stone. I have mapped the region. Winter comes and after spring, Mr. Barley does his thing. So let's check the map. I I don't know if I got that map or um, monument stone. I might have. I might check though. Shame Meadows. Oh, their faces aren't here like on the other one. Must not be quite linked up quite yet. Dogs, I really love this stuff. Heals a bit and makes you tough. Alright, let's head home. Travel. Oh, wow, this screen's so bright after. It's been such a dark... Uh, it's been dark for so long that that was kind of a shock to my eyeballs. Jojo's grass. That's fine. I don't think I got my uh, like fruits or the apples and pears and stuff in time. They'll probably be gone for the season. Mail. A gift from Teresa. Dear Robin, our friendship means a lot. Warm regards. Sugar plums, nightberry, and curse fish. Ah, thank you very much. All right, let's head to bed. Let's do this. <laughs> Seems that I forget that <laughs> if I don't do it before I end an episode. <laughs> All right, it's looking so warm in the house. Not sure why it's raining. Should be snow. It was like dumping. All right, let's go in the house. Next for a nice warm fire. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I think I got everything I wanted to done. Uh, we saw, we went to the birthday. We did the offerings. We uh, did a little bit of exploring and sold a bunch of fish and guess the apples. Um, calendar. Traveling Trader, Chicken Market, and it's um, Herbert Lemon's birthday. It's 102. He doesn't like cabbage. Or apples. Well, he doesn't hate apples, but I know he doesn't like them either. We'll have to find something for him. But we'll be doing that in the next episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.